Guys, give it up for your next comment, guys. John up and a good friend of mine. Round of applause, everybody. What's up, Knoxville? Hey. I'll be out there drinking tonight. Woo. Yeah. Fuck you guys, I quit drinking. <laughs> the water's not it. I heard some booze, yeah. But my friends were cheering because they've got like a permanent DD now. And I'm glad for their support, you know. <laughs> I come from a small town, so a lot of people who find out I quit drinking, they're like, oh, you just need to turn to Jesus. Like I'm going to take advice from a dude who turned water into wine about my drinking problem. It's fucked up right there. Okay, Sean. But yeah, I quit drinking, and uh, you know, you hear these stories about people who've been in rehab, and they come out, and it's awesome. I feel so great now. That's fucking bullshit right there. <laughs> really is. Karate sucks. Uh, but one thing about it, though, I have found things that I've neglected since I started drinking that I enjoy, that I do now. Again, like reading. I've read a lot more. I've been lifting some weights. And I've been smoking a lot of weed. <laughs> I've been smoking that shit up. You know what I've done this weekend? I've smoked a bowl, played Mortal Kombat, <laughs> and had sex. <laughs> you ever had high sex? Oh my yep. god, that is great, right? It's like so sensual, you know? It's like there's waves everywhere. <laughs> oh, look at them titties go. Titty, titty, titty. <laughs> then she stuck her finger in my asshole. Kind of ruined my buzz. <laughs> but no, I had to kind of quit drinking because it became a problem. Um, I started like, you know, drunk. Dallin, that one woman who scorned me years ago, you know, and I'd leave that message like, fuck you, whore. I hate you, and I can't believe you had another baby with that guy. He's an asshole. And you know that baby? She's grew up to be a real big bitch. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> now, the bad thing about that was, was the next morning, that woman was calling me back. And you know how hard it is to explain to your mom why you called her and tell her that shit? I mean, really. So, is there any racist out there tonight? That's a good thing. A good thing. Racism sucks. I'm not a racist at all, but I would like to uh, say that we've come a long way, America, with racism. I mean, you don't see black people getting shot by fire hoses anymore in the middle of the highway, do we? It's okay. It's a comedy show, people. You can laugh. It's okay. But we have come a long way, but uh, one thing that we got to get past is black people, you got to quit calling each other the N word. It's a, it's a comedy show, people. You can laugh. You see any other race of people besides retard calling them the racial slur that they are? Retards do it, right? They're a race, right? <laughs> they are in my world. I mean, you don't see Mexicans like, Hey, come on, S.A., we got to go more yards wet back. That shit don't happen. That's it. No, it sure don't. So, I am in a relationship. We got anybody in relationships out here? Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's propose a toast tonight. Raise your glasses up. I propose a toast to Cosmo and Tequila. Cheers. <laughs> and I propose that toast because uh, Cosmo and Tequila give my gives my girlfriend the idea and the courage to do some freaky shit to me. <laughs> Guys, really, do not dog Cosmo. There was an article last month about how you could lick your guy's taint to get him off. Guys. Let me tell you something. There's a magical place between your ball sack and your asshole right here that when it's licked, it's like a man pussy. I mean, really. It feels amazing. I swear to God. But the worst thing is the position you're in when this is taking place, but you're, I feel, you know, you're trying to look at her face like, how's she get, oh, yeah. Please God, don't let me fart. That's all I was. That's all I was. That's all I was praying for. But no, actually, that's that's a true story, and I am in a relationship. Let's give it up for my girlfriend for putting up with my shit up here. We've been dating for a year and a half now, uh, and we've been making some really big steps in the relationship. Like about eight months ago, we moved in together, which means I moved out of my parents' house into her house, and I call that a win-win situation. <laughs> And then about six months ago, we got a joint checking account. I uh, see, ooh, 
This dude's like, oh shit. <laughs> no, but guys, I don't have a job and she's fucking loaded. <laughs> so I'm cool with it. It's good. It's good. But now we're starting to uh, talk about that next big step. We've been together a year and a half and there's only one other thing that we can do, right? Sure. Anal sex. <laughs> That's what it is. So just let me tell you, daddy's knocking on the back door. <laughs> guys, you've been a great crowd. John Upton, everybody! Keep going, give it up for him. It makes me so sad that he's not drinking tonight. <laughs>